Hi friends, let's make some cute bows. These are really easy to make. Um, I'm going to use floral wire. This is the gauge, 26 gauge. And for these particular bows, I'm just gonna cut a piece of floral wire, roughly 10 inches or so. For this bow, we are going to use three different pieces of ribbon, and they each should be a varying width. And it works best if the two widest pieces have wire on the edges of them. You're going to take your widest ribbon, and it works best for the two widest ribbons if they have wire in them. So we're gonna cut this first one at six inches, which is here. The next one we will cut at five inches. And then the skinniest one we will cut at four inches. So six, five, four is what you remember. Now we're gonna clip the ends of the wired pieces. Simply fold it in half and cut it on an angle like so to give you these little dog ears, dog tails. I think they're called dog ears. So we're gonna do that with the two widest ribbons that have the wire in them, but not that little piece. I'm not actually cutting through the wire, I'm actually just right above it, like snip. And we'll do this side snip and here's the last step here's what makes the magic happen we're going to line them up so they're kind of sort of centered ish and the trick behind these is to shoop, just pinch it in the middle so we can do that again see just gonna line them up and pinch it in the middle then you'll secure that with I'm using the floral wire, like I mentioned earlier, the 26 gauge, but you could also use a pipe cleaner or a zip tie, whichever you want. And then I didn't quite get it in the middle, so I'll just scooch it down here a little bit. There we go. That's why I like using the floral wire. And then you can fluff it as needed and attach it to your project. Easy peasy little bows. Here are a couple of the bows that I've made, and I put them inside this garland here. Such a cute way to decorate. I hope you enjoy and that this helps you with your bow making. Thanks for watching.